Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nick. Back to you again with Battle Brothers. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game again. Uh, last time we set up our company again. Uh, you know, we we yeah, we had that you know the beginning where everybody died, but now we're back up to seven men. I think we we can do crazy stuff. So this episode, hopefully, we will um, do that quest that we got here. They obtain the seal uh, seal of the sun. Uh, get get paid, and maybe move on somewhere kind of more inland. Uh, have a little kind of trek, maybe to Wagenheim or Gelbwall. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. So I actually uh, figured out how I'm gonna name people, and it's not anything special. Uh, I'm just gonna name them what I feel like. Some of them will be after my friends. Some of them will just be my weird creations. So. Um, yeah, let, without further ado, uh, this is what I call everyone. So, my crossbow guy is Nick the Not So. I don't know what that's a reference to, but, you know, if you know, let me know in the comments below. This is Jack the Courageous. He's my, uh, gonna be my kind of tankier dude with a spear to kind of put up a shield wall. Yeah. Uh, and then we got Munch the Bunch. Which I thought was a great name for a uh, ex uh, for a caravan hand who is just steady and, and strong. Uh, I think that fits him well. Then we got Matthew the Butcher, who because uh, I don't think uh, a guy like this would have any other name except for Matt. I think Matthew works perfectly right here. Then we have Samuel, and uh, he is the good because he's good. He's good at the bow. And then we have a James the Swift. Uh, I hope he is swift. He, do, he does have a short sword, so hopefully he can make use of that. And finally, we have Steve. Uh, I couldn't think of anything interesting for this guy because he's, quite frankly, not very good. Uh, so maybe if he proves himself, then I'll give him some sort of title. But uh, right now he's just Steve. And we'll see how he fares with that name. Anyway, all that aside, uh, let's head out towards the ancient burial site then, uh, because why not? Why not? This is what we need to do. 380 crowns are waiting for us, so let's try it out. What does it say here? <clears throat> the sad remains of a merciless battle, an epidemic or other catastrophe. The survivors dug a large hole and piled all the corpses into it to get rid of them quickly. Oh boy, I think I know what's coming. Are we going to have our first fight with the undead? I... I hope not, but I don't really feel like it's going to be anything else, is it? Oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. At ancient burial site. Arriving at the ruins, you expected some bandits to be footing about. Instead, retrieving the seal of the sun could not have been easier. At least, that's what you thought before a throng of armored on dead emerged yelling about the false king and demanding your head on a platter. Two arms! Two arms indeed. Let's fight. We are being attacked. So, your scouts report that he has seen the following. Some ancient auxiliaries. Hmm. Well, skeletons it is. Let's go. <laughs> oh, um, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Right, here we go. Okay, so... Oh, this is a... Okay, so this is kind of a raised plateau. Okay, so how many do we have? Seven of us. Four enemies. Okay, so what do we got? We have Ancient Auxiliaries with a spear. Uh, Ancient Auxiliary with a, what seems to be kind of like a hook blade. Uh, Ancient Auxiliary with another spear. And then this guy, I actually don't know, what is he, what is he holding? Oh, another one of those curved blades. Okay. Uh, right. So... Uh, let's let's try. I'm gonna try and hmm, I'm gonna try and shoot one of them. I mean, it's probably not gonna. Well, this guy has the, the the biggest chance to hit him will be here. So I'm trying. Oh, well, that actually worked. Okay, let's give it another shot. Oh, I hit the other one. Well, perfect. Okay, Nick, who do you have the chance to hit? Hit, and you missed. Good job. Good on you. Uh, good on you. Oh! Oh no! 
What's this? I've run out of arrows? Uh oh. Well. This is bad. Oh no. Well. Six against four it is then. So arrows can run out. <sighs> okay. I mean, I thought they could, but I thought they'd get replenished. I guess not, then. Okay, so here's my guy. I'm going to move him out of here. So that we don't uh, have to look down. Alright, so... Munch the Bunch can go over here. Jack will protect me. Like he always does. And then... Uh, Matt the Butcher will also go over here. Into the front lines. And let's see what the skeletons do. Oh, that's a long, that's a long shot. On the raised platforms. Uh, oh, somebody's wavering. Not good. So you can't literally do anything. Well, this sucks. So I can get him here. Slash miss, James. Two misses. The two hits, nice, nice two hits. Nice bash. We'll move him over here and let's see if he... Ah. Wait. No way! What? Well... Uh, this is not good. I can't believe Munch the Bunch was slain. Nice. Strong hit. Here I thought Munch the Bunch was going to be the, the, the strong one on our team. Like, kind of the one that was going to survive a lot. Guess not. Okay, I can't really shoot them. But I can try and bash his head in. Move over here. Stab. Nice. Oh. Oh, James the Swift. Nice. Strong hits. Oh no, James is running away. Well, that actually gives me a... Nah, damn it. Nah. Yeah! Victory! Oh, and he survived! Yes! Fantastic! He survived! Oh man, good, good. I was really scared I lost much of the bunch for a second there. I must have had a lucky hit. Uh, it seems Jack the Courageous and James the Swift leveled up. Nice. Very nice. James the Swift, he was running away at the, at, the, at, the, at the last moment there. But, you know, we'll forgive him for that. We'll forgive him for that. There's a helmet. Nice. Ah, Squiver of Bolts. I see. Okay, we'll survive with that. That was actually kind of tough. I was, I was, I got really scared when they just insta killed Munch the Bunch there. Jeez. After the battle, you're not entirely sure what it was you just ran into. James the Swift asks you if you know what they say, you know what they said. Seems like they were pointing you out specifically, sir. Nodding, do you tell the man you're not sure what the armored man said? But it matters not. You have the Seal of the Sun, and it's time to return to Heinrich the Councilman for your pay. Right, let's head back. I most, I really want to find some medical supplies, because we're slowly running short on them. Uh, and that sucks. There was a little bit of gold there, actually, so that's nice. That was a little bit good. Right, so who's in need of healing? Munch the Bunch. Oh, he's got a missing finger. Right, I see, I see. So you got the same thing as Samuel the Good. Well, alright. 
Let's see. So he just, but I gave him a quiver of bow. Well, weird, weird. I don't, I don't quite understand. I mean, I might want to give him some sort of weapon. I'm gonna give him these two, so that he can also use a spear when he needs to. So a helmet. We got a helmet, and I don't know who's put plump that on. Uh, but I feel like I, I see. I want, I want him to be our tank. I want um, Munch the Bunch to be our tank. So I kind of feel like I wanna, I wanna put put that on him. Yeah, Munch the Bunch. You are going to be fantastic. Don't worry, you're gonna be great eventually. Before, I guess I'll sell these shields. It doesn't seem that good. After battle. After the battle is over, you find Steve on his knees, his body swaying back and forth as he nurses a wound. You hear muffled cries in between all too loud moans. Approaching, you ask the man if he's alright. He shakes his head and explains that this was his first taste of real vicious combat. It was not what he expected, and isn't sure if he can continue. Steve... There is not a soul out here who isn't scared. The man turns to you, tears cutting through the crusts of blood on his cheeks. He shakes his head and asks, How is it that he's the only one here out here crying? You shrug and ask the man if he wishes to leave the company, but he shakes his head again. I'll... I'll get better, I, I just... I just need some time to do it, that's all. He will be steeled by combat, or he will be killed by it. We'll see. Steve... I mean, you did good in that fight, so... You're on your way to becoming a true, true cake and butts. And now that the butts have assembled, we now need to... kick some cake. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. On your return, Heinrich the Councilman meets you at the town square. Your hand over the seal of the sun, uh, you hand over the seal of the sun, and the man cradles it as if it were an infant he thought lost. After a moment of awkward embrace with the relic, he holds it up high, letting the townspeople see it. They cheer for a time, too long truly. You have to elbow Heinrich the Councilman to remind him to pay you. You gain 380 crowns, and the, the city is in high spirits. The townsfolk seem to be in good spirit now. Well, good. Uh, good, good, fantastic. Okay, any interesting people to hire? Hmm. Not really. There's a fisherman. But I think I'll, I'll actually. I'll, I'll think I'll pass. Oh, they have medical supplies. That's exactly what I need. Okay, I'm gonna sell the shield. I'm gonna. Buy those medical supplies. Nice, 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 nice. How are we standing on food? Not very much. So I'm gonna pick up another uh, bit of food. And another one. So we have a little bit more. Uh, good, good. So hey, I, we could sail to somewhere, right? Sail to Harkenstad. Where's that? Where's that on the map? Where's Harkenstad? Where? Where is it? I can't see it. Parkinstead? Oh, over there. But that seems like an ice that seems like an ice isolated city. I don't I don't think I actually want to go there. Right, so we will head over to Thurston and then to Gelberfesta and then maybe Th we'll kinda of go through all these cities, trying to get to Wagenheim. And we'll see how it goes from there. We'll, I wanna go I wanna move towards mainland more than anything. Let's see, it, does Thunes the Ten have a quest for us? They do not. Okay, that's fine, we'll keep going. I mean, I'm pretty sure Gelberfest Felfesta won't have a quest for us because uh, this is a big city. Oh, uh, but there's a tavern here, so maybe I can grab a, grab a drink for my men. Get them a little bit higher up, like in spirits. So, hey! Jack the Courageous is, gets eager. Oh yes, of course, my guy's leveled up. Right, we should uh, 
should level them up. So, definitely melee skill for Jack. Um, maximum fatigue and hit points, yes. More perks. I'm feeling... I'm going to make him Colossus. Now, 80 health. Now, there we go. Now, James the Swift will get some, yeah, he'll get some extra melee points, get some extra fatigue. But I think I'm going to go for the Crippling Strikes. Lower the threshold for injuries by 33%, so he could actually do some crazy damage up, uh, to him. I'm actually going to put them both in reserve so that they heal quicker. Mm, and we will go... I, I think I'm... <sighs> Thorax is a big city, so what I'm thinking is I'm just going to... No, yeah, I'm gonna go to Wagenheim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. Oh, are we crossing the river? We are. We're crossing the river. Well, that's okay. At least it seems safe. Seems like we're doing all right. Okay, we, we crossed the river. Uh, 792 gold, 100 food, 18 tools and supplies. That's the next thing we're gonna have to buy. I'm definitely going to have to buy some tools and supplies uh, in, in the next town, if, if they sell it. But hopefully they also have a quest for us, because that would be great. Uh, how are our, our guys doing? Okay, James is back into top shape. Uh, just, now just munch the bunch. Okay, so, Wagenheim. What kind of city? Perfect! Two quests. Fantastic. Marketplace. They sell tools. But it's in oh geez, that is incredibly expensive. Mm. I think I'll, I'll 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 wait for a second. Let's go for this quest. Negotiations. As you settle into the room, Leberecht of Wegenheim finishes a goblet of Cobra wine and heaves the cup out the window. You hear the din of it clattering hollow far, far away. He turns to you. While walking the roads, brigands swarmed my wagon and made off with all my goods. They left me my life, which is fine, but the gall of what they did keeps me up a lot. I see their sneering faces, hear their laughter, and believe it was a message to go after me because I refused to pay their tolls. Well, now I am ready to pay a toll. To you, Selsor. If you go and slaughter these vagabonds, I'll pay a tidy toll indeed. What say you? Yeah, let's talk money. Oh! Rest assured that I, what I'm offering you now is a fine price for your work. You are to receive 80 crowns in advance and another 320 when a job is done. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and push him. It probably won't work. He seems annoyed. Yeah, nah, nah, he, it's not happening. Uh, no, you are already getting more than you're worth. You get 80 crowns in advance and another 320 uh, when the job is done. Okay. I won't push him further. I don't know what happens if you push them too far. Maybe they just won't let you do it. So, yeah, sure. I'll, 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 I'll accept this contract. Okay. Okay. Uh, and there's a tavern here as well, but I, I don't want to waste some. I don't want to waste money. So it's over here. That's not. That's not very far. So let's let's try it. Let's let's give it a shot. What is it? Plundered, thunderous camp. A fortified wooden encampment used by outlaws to stash their loot, rest in between raids, and play drinking games. Interesting. So plunder and camp. Let's 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 try and get to them. Let's try and um are we all in top shape? Just almost. Uh almost in top shape. Uh I'm more I'm you know, I don't wanna make camp or anything. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's Brigands 9. Okay, hello. I think I'm gonna run away from these. Hi. Brigands. Brigands go home. Many Brigand Thugs. Many Brigand Thugs, a few Brigand Poachers. I am out. I am out. I'm not fighting them. <laughs> That seems... Oh, and there's another one! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious me. I'm... We're, we're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. They're chasing us. They're just going at it. They're just going for it. And we're running away. Can there be, like, a... Gelb wall? Gelb wall, maybe? 
Yeah, well, would they have a... Would they have a... They, don't, they do not have a militia. Okay, I'm out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes, they do. They do. They totally have a militia. Let's go in. Let's go in. Engage. We have... We're gonna fight alongside a militia. That sounds awesome. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, okay. So, uh, right. So we don't actually know where they are. Right. Let's scout ahead. Oh, there we are. There's the militia. There's the militia. 17 to 5. Oh, it's just over. It's over for them. Steve. Strong plays. You still don't have... Oh, I still... I, I equipped you with a quiver. No, I equipped him with a quiver of arrows. Ah, oh, idiot. I am an idiot. Oh, Nick. You're not having great luck, are you? Right. Let's go. Let's let's get into that fight before they just slaughter them. Jeez. expecting to be able to fight them because damn this is 11 guys here but maybe I'll be able to get to, I'll be able to kind of get a few pieces of loot from this we'll see um nah, it's miss Oh jeez, they're just... Hello? This is crazy. This is actually crazy. This is gonna... Oh, that was a death behind the tree. <laughs> oh no. Dead. Nah, there's just nothing you can do. I won't even get a hit in, but it's impressive to see an army like this. Just wreck face. Oh, it's over for them. Oh, he's running away, yeah, that's over. He's running. Is that the hit?
just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna skip turns because uh, he's dead running away anyway, so they're probably not gonna catch him now. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Good. No XP. Ah, there we go. See? 163 gold. That was worth it. That was absolutely worth it. And if I'm correct... I'm gonna go and try and fight these, these brigands now. There's six of them. Oh no! Oh no, not again. Oh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh. What have I done? What have I done? What have I. What have I done? They're fully clad in armor. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. This is our first retreat. <laughs> this was awful. This was dreadful. They're coming anyway! I should have just... Ah, oh, I should have just waited. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> They're coming anyway. I should have just waited. Ah. Oh. And everyone's now beaten and bloodied. Ugh. Maybe we'll get some sort of equipment from it though. If we can manage to actually, you know, fight them. Well, from the spoils, I feel like these guys are much more experienced than the other guys. That the last fight was slaughtered for this, but these guys are like are actually ar armor clad. So I'm wondering, something's happening. Oh, jeez. Damn. Hope I don't get hit in the crossfire. Actually. Samuel did good actually. I really shouldn't have been I shouldn't have put him there. I should put him back. Right. <gasps> yeah, it's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Oh no. I'm sorry, Sam. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Why did I? Ugh. I'm just not paying attention. I'm not paying enough attention. Anyway, they killed two so far. Damn. Kind of don't want to get close. Oh, there's a little shard thing. Okay. Nice. That's a strong hit. I'm a little bit scared of getting close. I feel like. I want to get behind them. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm just gonna wall up. Cause I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of that guy who's shooting. I'm playing with fire right now. I'm missing. 
Not good. Yeah. Nice armor piercing. Nice! Strong hair. Well, I can't reload with it with Nick, unfortunately. Oh jeez. Nice. I'm gonna try and be careful with this. Nice. Good. Oh, jeez. I wanna raid these corpses, dude. pick up another guy from this city actually. We have a little bit of gold. I can actually spend them on another dude. Damn it'd be so good to have some sort of archer or a marksman. Because we don't have any like guys who kind of are proficient in that. We have guys who are good for physical labor and they have decent skills when it comes to shooting or to, to fighting. Whatever. Oh Samuel the good. You you did a thing and then you died. Well, that was that was less worth it for what happened. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go to Gelbo, maybe see if I can get somebody. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is right. It's night time. Yeah, we have to camp. I don't want to go. You know, I don't want to immediately go in. Um, guns blazing. And I do need to kill everyone. Munch the Bunch isn't very happy. I don't understand that. I really messed up. I really shouldn't have picked a fight with them. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, my biggest problem was the fact that I didn't... <laughs> I didn't, uh... I didn't just wait. Which I, which I should have done. Uh... But everyone's low bit. So, bruised leg. That's not too bad. Crushed windpipe. A blow to the neck injured by the windpipe, making it very hard to painful to draw breath. Let alone keep fighting, okay? Ah. Uh. Well, let's pick up somebody. Wait, really? Oh. It's this. okay. Right, Humbert. Houndmaster. Interesting. 
Doctor, who is a deserter. Someone who is an apprentice. Lars, a houndmaster. Okay. Houndmaster. I'll pick him up. He's not too expensive. Right. Okay, so who, what do you do, Mr. Houndmaster? Of course you're not into bows. Oh, Lord. No, arrows. <laughs> Wait, what? There's my bolts. Okay. Of course you're not into bows. Nobody seems to be into bows. Eh. Well, I guess I'll just stick with one bow guy. This might actually bite me in the ass later on, but... But what kind of weapon am I gonna, am I gonna give him? I don't really have a weapon for him. I suppose a spear will do. Maybe a hatchet. I don't have money, though. Oh. A bludgeon could work for now. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a bludgeon for now and then. Do I have a extra spare shield? Uh... Yeah, but that's a crappy one. So, I'm gonna pick up. Pick up that one. Right. Well, last. Your name is gonna be Gandalf. The. Gandalf the... I guess Gandalf the Grey. He has grey hair. I was, gonna, I was trying to think of something more clever, but I couldn't. I mean, his name is gonna be Gandalf, and he's gonna have a bludgeon. He's gonna bludgeon people to death. Okay. Along the way, <clears throat> some vent. While the company takes a short rest, you sit down to examine the wound where an arrow punctured your side not long ago. It's been healing slowly, and it still aches if you move too quickly, but things are getting better. Matthew the Butcher joins you, seizing the opportunity to talk to his captain. So the way I see it, nobody knows about the kicking butt scenes. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands of brigands through the woods forever, but we'll have to make a name for ourselves first as a reliable source for hire that can get things done before the noble house take notice. <sighs> They'll want to use the company for far better paying tasks, I'm sure. He adjusts his weapon belt and continues. Just, we keep in mind that the High Lords are playing a dangerous game and we don't want to get on their bad side. There's enough stories of people who cross them only to end up quartered and fed to the pigs. And they have means to squish even a company of cell swords. He pauses for a short moment and adds another thought. The guildmasters and councilmen running the villages and towns too have a good memory. We depend on them to hire the company for now, but having some influential friends may also help us get better deals with the merchants. Now, keep that in mind. Thank you, Matt. You always know what to say. Right, we've dilly dallied enough. Let's actually get this done. Uh, so I, I prefer if um, I prefer if we didn't get wrecked. Uh, I, I don't want to go and fight this uh, without. Uh, Damn, damn. Three, one, two, one, three, there is now. Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Give it a, a, a good old meme. Some brigand thugs, a brigand rider. Right there. Okay. Let's get you in here. Let's get you guys in here. Well, let's, let's... No, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest up. I'm gonna rest up a little bit. Can your, can your injuries go away? Please, 
We're wasting, we're wasting money here. Come on, time is money. These injuries are not going away. I'm not happy about this. Come on. Stay nine. Come on. I'm gonna have to pay you in a minute. Guys. Yep. Okay, they're all here. Nice. But I did have to pay them. But they're all here. Good, 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 good. good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the plunderer's camp. Oh, and go, and go, engage. Here we go. I'm always scared with this game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always scared. I'm always scared. Oh god. Oh, they're attacking. I'm going first. So there's one rider who is with uh Alright. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try and set up a kind of a defensive wall here. Four defensive wall. I'm gonna try and get Nick far away from them so they can't actually get to me. Yeah. I think I can. Right, so then another wall. Oh, can't do it. They don't seem to have a. They have an axe man though, I, I, I do need to be careful. Oh no, oh this thing's... I'm gonna wait and wait to turn. Matthew. Nice. Strong hit from Nick. happened. Here I thought this was going to be kind of easy. Holy crap! No way! 
That was so quick. No. The cake and butts, they were supposed to be great. Oh, jeez. You were supposed to lead the cake and butts to gl golden glory. And perhaps some was found. But of what use is it now that you're lying? That you lied dead. God damn it! Oh, <laughs> this game beats my ass. Okay, this is not the end. Absolutely not the end. I, I refuse. I will make Cake and Butts great again. We will try once more, and we're gonna succeed. If the, mm. oh, I promise you, I'm gonna try again, and we're gonna try again and again. It's not gonna be on beginner mode. I can tell you. I can already tell you that we're gonna try and. The same difficulty, the absolute same difficulty. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again, uh, and we're gonna survive, and it's gonna be amazing. And the Cajun bots will rise, and they will be the most powerful force in the land. I promise. I'm determined. I'm going to. No, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. All right. Okay. We'll start the next playthrough on the next episode. Once again, I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like or subscribe or something like that. I'm just... Oh, God. Oh. See you next time on Battle Brothers. Have yourself a good day and... Pray for me. Pray for me.